Okay, cast iron skillets. I love using cast iron skillets. I would reach for those 90% of the time when I have to use a skillet. They are a little finicky with the cleaning, so you can't obviously stick them in a dishwasher. They require just a little more finesse when it comes to cleaning them. So I'm gonna show you what so I do. So the first rule with cast iron is that you don't want to let the food sit in it for too long. You really want to get the food in and out of the cast iron skillet because the food can settle and sit and it just makes it a lot harder to get it off and you don't want to use soap on a cast iron skillet. So really, right after you use a cast iron skillet, clean it. That's the easiest way to do things. Now, if you happen to have some grease in there and you let it sit and it hardens, don't worry. Just pop it back on the stove, let the heat come up and kind of melt the grease and then it'll be a lot easier to clean from that point. So. I used this skillet um, and I made some, I cooked some bacon up in there. So I am just taking my tongs and I'm just kind of scraping any of the brown bits um, from the bottom. Get those kind of scraped up so they're loose. Now, bacon grease. I often throw bacon grease out, but maybe every fifth time that I make it, I do save my grease because there are some things that are really delicious when they're cooked with bacon grease. Um, you can use it obviously in place of any oils, but um, boy, cooking up some pan fried potatoes in bacon grease is amazing. I also use it sometimes when I make refried beans. So I like to keep a little bit of bacon grease on hand. I keep it in a mason jar and I keep it right in my fridge so that it's always in a solid state and I can just scoop out what I want. So I have a little space for some bacon grease, so I'm gonna add it here. So I have my mason jar and I have a paper towel. And I'm gonna use this paper towel kind of like a sieve. It's gonna keep, I'm just kind of fitting it to the top of my jar. And sometimes I actually take the ring and I stick it back on there. I don't screw it on, I just kind of stick it on and it kind of holds the paper towel in place. And I'm gonna take the grease here and I'm going to let it drip through the paper towel into the jar. And the paper towel is gonna to catch and trap all the little brown bits that I don't want. So you can kind of see that happening. And it's gonna let the grease kind of pour through. So I'm gonna pull my ring off and let my towel, oops, Strip through the rest. I'm gonna throw that away. And um, then I have a new layer of bacon grease in my glass jar that will all harden up in the fridge and it'll be great to cook from. So I'll put a lid on that and I'll wipe that jar up. Okay, so now we still have to clean the cast iron skillet. So here's the cast iron skillet. All the little brown bits are still on there. They're, they're loosened up now. Another paper towel or two, and basically just wipe out the brown bits. And you can use your tongs to do that. You could use your hand. My pan's still a little warm, so I'm just going to use the tongs. And once you kind of get into the habit of cleaning your cast iron skillet right after cooking, it really doesn't take long. I'm kind of drawing it out a little bit to show you. So I'm throwing the paper towel away, the brown bits away, and then we're gonna head over to the sink and I'm gonna show you how to deal with this Okay, pan. so I have my skillet. It's been kind of wiped out so that the brown bits are not sitting at the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and use water and kosher salt to scrub my skillet. Now you don't wanna use soap. Soap kind of takes away the seasoning that's on the skillet. Um, it's also just too harsh and it can kind of sit in the porous parts of cast iron. But salt is a great, especially kosher salt, it's a great way to clean your skillet. It takes the smell out. It's also got some antibacterial properties, so you don't have to worry about bacteria growing on the surface of your skillet. So I actually keep, I keep one of these filled with kosher salt, right, in the cupboard so that I can grab it just for this. Um, so sprinkle some salt in there, just like that. And then 
a little wire scrubby or a brush that you have set aside dedicated just for your cast iron is a great idea. So I'm gonna take the wire scrubby and some cold water and I'm gonna scrub my skillet clean. Again, no soap. And this should just take a minute. Now, cast iron is one of those things you don't want to sit wet. So as soon as I am done here, I am going to dry this guy off. Okay, so it's all clean. And actually the smell is gone. The smell of bacon is gone. So if I want to use this for something like, um, you know, a Dutch oven um, little apple tartatin or something that has a sweet flavor, I don't have to worry about the bacon flavor seeping in. Um, okay, so I have my skillet. It's a little damp. You can see that. So I'm going to take, with the bottom here, take it back over to the stove and put it on the stove to heat up and evaporate and you'll see what happens. I put it on the stovetop for about about a minute 45 seconds and the heat just helped all the water evaporate so it's totally dry water is the enemy of cast iron so I want all water to be gone quickly um, now I just need to put a little seasoning coat on top of my cast iron skillet on the cooking surface and then we're done um, now you can coat the outside with your seasoning um, oil kind of for looks to keep your cast iron looking good, but I don't really care. <laughs> I, I do it probably, oh, every third time I do the outside, but I just want to make sure that my surface, my cooking surface is really seasoned and ready to go. So I use canola oil. Canola oil has no flavor and that's really what you're looking for in a seasoning agent. You do not want coconut oil or olive oil. And I put probably half a teaspoon on my surface. And I'm gonna use tongs because my pan's still a little warm and a paper towel. And I am just gonna rub that paper towel all over the inside. I'm gonna make sure to get all the crevices and all the edges up to the top. So anywhere that food might touch this surface, I really want that to be covered with oil. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that away. And now my pan is all seasoned and ready to go. The only thing is it's a little warm, so I'm just gonna leave it here on the stove to cool down and then I'll put it away. If I'm stacking cast iron skillets, I usually put a paper towel and then my other cast iron skillet on top of it. I don't want them rubbing, I don't want the friction on the pans. Um, but once you get this system down, it takes mm, three minutes to clean your pan, three minutes. So hopefully that helps. And if you have any questions, drop them below and I'll try to answer them if I know them. Um, so happy cooking.